Welcome, welcome! It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today we are talking about the Banu Merchantman. This is the ship that everybody originally wanted. This is the ship before the Carrick, before the Polaris, that everybody wanted to get their hands on. I am definitely in that boat. I totally wanted to get this ship. So, what is the Banu Merchantman? The Banu Merchantman is a ship created by the race called the Banu, which were the first race that humans encountered in uh, the Star Citizen universe. They are a group of traders, more or less. So they trade goods and they kind of take the best technology that they can get from everybody that they trade with and incorporate it into their own. They don't keep track of history, uh, but they are very family oriented. Family, it's kind of a, almost a loose word, but the family all do like one thing. So they may be a manufacturing family or they may be a trading family or they may be a training family where they train other families how to do certain things. The, you get the idea. The whole family does that. Uh, and they kind of, you know, whatever slaves are all incorporated into the family, that sort of thing. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, the new Banu, def Banu Merchantman takes some of the materials from the Banu Defender and is incorporating it into its hull. Uh, I'm looking forward to that because I love the way the Banu Defender looks. The material on it looks really clean, really good. I hope we get a few different color schemes for these things. They're going to be awesome. The original Banu Defender was about 160 meters long and 160 meters wide. And I think like 60 or 100 meters tall maybe is what it was. And so it's a, it was a big ship and it could hold something like 3000 SCU. Well, the new Banner Defender is bigger. And as you can see here in this illustration, they expect people to be in awe when they come up the ramp to this thing. This ramp also acts as a fuel scoop, by the way. So they'll walk up the ramp and on either side, you'll see holograms, most likely of the things that you're selling on your Banu Merchantman. Uh, so, you know, whatever goods you're selling. Then you'll come into like a little atrium area. Uh, this is actually, I think, the shop area here where you have shops four on one level, four on the level above it. And then you'll have guest quarters above that to where your shop merchants and stuff can, can I guess, live, really. Because you're going to probably have NPC shop merchants running most of your shops. Uh, I mean, that's most likely the only way you're going to be able to do it. But the new Banu Merchantman, not only did it get bigger, it still kept a lot of the storage capacity. It, it's, it's supposed to be 2800 SCU. That's amazing. Here you can see the updated conference room. Uh, really liking the way that this thing looks. It looks even more roomy than the previous one. I believe this is like a hab area where, you know, your guests are hanging out, living, or mingling with the crew, maybe. Uh, so everything looks really awesome in these mock-ups. I can't wait to see how they get it in the game. Uh, so here is a current map of the new Banu Merchantman. They're calling it, like, Banu Merchantman 3.0. You have a small storage area in the front. I'm guessing that's closer to the docking collar there. Uh, cargo control, cargo room with all the cargo, a hangar, you got the bridge up top, you got the mess, met, hab and med underneath that, sanctuary which is a nice little place to hang out. They use this like tree of life idea to create the Banu stuff, it's really cool. You got the guest rooms with the conference room and the market, two levels of market where you come in. Public elevator, crew elevator, crew access, and engineering all in towards the back of the ship. So really cool layout for this ship. What do you guys think of this layout? What do you think of the Banu Merchantman? Is this one you can't wait to get your hands on? I mean, for me, yeah, I can't wait. I am totally looking forward to it. Uh, so here is how your guest will come on board to do their shopping. They'll come up through the uh, stairs that are on this fuel scoop. You'll see the little holograms. That's what those little s cubes are. Uh, they'll go into this little atrium, take the elevator up to one of the two shopping levels or up to the conference room, guest room area. Uh, and you, know, you could come in through the docking hatch in the midship there. 
Uh, so there's a couple different ways that they could come in, whether you're on the ground or in the air. Uh, then they'll do their all their buying of your goods, whatever goods you're selling, whether it's artifacts, you know, rare artifacts or weapons or, you know, animals or whatever it is you're going to sell. Slaves, I don't know. You know, some of you pirates may have a banner merchantman to sell slaves. Uh, so that's her worst ideas. So, you know, could happen. Uh, here you can see some of the design language again and the tree of life uh, in this area here that, you know, you can definitely see the influence. Uh, so, another thing that they changed about the Banu Merchantman. They've got a hangar for a Banu Defender. Didn't used to have a hangar. So they had to make it big enough to have that hangar. And it is going to be awesome being able to park a Defender or whatever ship you really need to in there. Because it can hold a lot of different ships. You'll see in one of my slides later on. Uh, this is like the engineering area. But, man, I can't wait can't wait. Uh, here's the cargo area where you have uh, this crane that's able to place your cargo here and there and everywhere. Uh, there's a court order of the marketplace, a court order of the crew habitation. Yeah. So there's your inside uh, the storage area with your little tumbrel uh, cyclone there with a lot of big boxes. This thing is going to be massive. Just so massive. They also increased the size of the guns that this thing's going to have. So it used to have size fives as the main guns in the front of the ship. And they're all hidden. So that's one of the cool things about the Banu is that, oh, we're just a peaceful merchant ship. Oh, you want to fight us? Well, we don't like to fight, but we're going to whoop out these two size eight cannons in the front and kick your butt. Uh, yeah, two size eights. You heard me right. Um, that's crazy big. Uh, I think the Carrick has two, not the Carrick, the Kraken have two size eights. Uh, so you, you can get an idea how big of a gun this thing's going to have. I mean, it's capital size, why not? It's also got turrets, a uh, man turret that has decent sized guns on it as well. And then four point defense guns that are the size of most ships' guns in the game, like the fighters and whatnot. Uh, so this thing's definitely going to be well armed and it's going to be able to, you know, escape a fight if it needs to. I mean, it, it, you don't, you probably don't want to shoot at a Banu Merchantman unless you have really, really big guns. Really big guns. Uh, as you can see, the little point defense cannons. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so looking forward to this. Now here you can see some of the Xion tech that goes into the Banu Merchantman. Uh, so, like I said, the Banu borrow technology from all the different races. So they're going to have Xion tech for some of these uh, moving panels where they don't have to be connected to the ship at all. Um, then you're, you're also going to have probably the Tavaran shields. So, you know, they're going to be stronger shields than what most other races have available to them. Uh, they use human technology for some things as well. So, yeah, the Banu just take the best of everything and put it in. Here you can see a comparison between the old Banu Merchantman and the new. How they had to make it quite a bit bigger so it could fit that Banu Defender. Uh, this thing, like I said, it's the size of an 890 jump or bigger. That's huge. 890 is considered capital size, so your Banu, your Banu Merchantman is going to be a capital ship. Just keep that in mind, folks. It's going to be a capital ship. And I can't wait. Originally, the Banu Merchantman went for $250 at concept, uh, and then it went up in price less than a year later, or about a year later. It's now up to, I think, $550 for a Banu Merchantman. Yeah, you heard me right. The thing has gone up $300, and expected to go up at least $200 more, in my opinion. So, if you want to get your hands on one of these, you might want to do it ASAP before this thing skyrockets up. I still have one in buyback at the 250 price range, uh, but this is a two-year anniversary uh, insurance one, so it doesn't even have LTI. But yeah, $250 buyback, uh, that's not too bad. I could always use this thing as an upgrade into a much more expensive ship, uh, and I may do that. I've been considering it, so we'll see what happens uh, in the near future. So guys, what do you think about the Banu Merchantman? Is this a ship that you want? Is it a ship you have? Is it a ship you've been looking forward to? Did you sell it or melt it way back when? Only to kick yourself for doing so because of how 
awesome this thing looks like it's going to be. Uh, you know, I didn't melt mine until I already had another one in another package, so uh, I'm not kicking myself. I still have one. <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below what you think. Also, if you're interested in joining or contributing to the channel, you can join my Patreon or my YouTube members. Uh, it really helps me and my family out. You guys just don't know how much you've helped me out over the last couple of years. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, you guys are awesome for doing that. Uh, I really do appreciate it. You can also get into the game if you've never gotten into the game. We're using my referral code down below in the description of the video. Uh, that'll get you a bonus 5,000 credits. And if you're looking to join a org, you can join my org. It's Texas. That'll be in the description as well. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy. I'll see you out in the verse.